Welcome back. Let's talk about individual stocks. Oil India is surging in trade on the back of its Q3 numbers. Sonal is here to tell us what the numbers look like. Sonal. Thanks a lot for that. Good set of numbers from Oil India. This is despite the uh, windfall taxes in the quarter gone by. Revenues came in at 5400 crore rupees. The EBITDA was higher by almost 1000 crore rupees on a quarter on quarter basis at 2855 crore rupees. A massive jump in margins at 53.1%. Profits, however, they were flat because of a uh, lower income component as well. The net oil realizations came in higher on a quarter on quarter basis at $77.1 per barrel and this despite the windfall taxes being higher. Uh, in terms of the other parts of the business, the Maligar refinery expansion is expected to be completed by FY24, FY25. The total capex here is 28,000 crore rupees out of which 70% will be funded via debt and 30% via equity. Motilal Oswal has a buy rating of the stock with a target price of 272 rupees per share. The fact that they are liking is that government is allowing a post windfall tax realizations between 68 to 81 dollars per barrel and that makes them positive on both Oil India and ONGC as well. ICICI Securities has gone ahead increased earnings estimates uh, by 18 to 13 percent for next two financial years. Gas realizations and GRM for Nomaligar refinery was higher than the historic trends and valuations at 4.4 times also provide support and that's why they also have a buy on the stock. Got that, Sonal. Thanks very much for the details. So that's a positive reaction. Now let's talk about a negative one. It's a big negative reaction at that. Look at the stock of City Union Bank. It has uh, fallen almost, what, 12 to 13 percent? Yeah, 13 and a half percent right now. <clears throat> and that's probably because in an era where most banks are showing you better asset quality, stability in terms of just the health of the book, this is one bank that's gone in the other direction in the third quarter with a deterioration in the asset quality. Ekta is here with all the details on this one. Ekta, what has ca caught your attention in the numbers? Well, it's definitely the asset quality, but I'm just going to get to that in just a bit. I just want to go through the basics of the numbers first. NII was up 13.5% year on year, but it was down 2.1% Q1Q. Profit as well was down 21% on a sequential basis, but was up around 11% year on year. Provisions have spiked up 81% year on year and 100. 13.8% Q on Q. Net interest margins have come in at a six quarter low of 3.88%. This, this is versus around 4% in the same time last year and at a sim similar level in terms of the last quarter as well. Asset quality has been the big dampener. That's exactly the point. A lot of the other companies or banks have shown stabilization of asset quality or maybe even a marginal kind of improvement this time round. Their slippages have come in at 439 crores versus 261.5 crores, which is up 68%. Uh, annualized slippage ratio now stands at around 4.08%. The gross NPA on an absolute basis has risen 6.8%. Net NPA also at elevated levels of around 1124 crores. Uh, recovery and upgrades have not come through as much, so that came in at around 173 crores. Write-offs 138.9 crores versus 114 crores. Restructured book now stands at 1130 odd crores for the company, which is down 11.9%. So overall, it is a weak quarter as compared to its peers. City Union Bank has reported an increase in slippages this quarter.